Look at our view results. Metal melter time. Here's a request for Australian stick. He gave me uh, the idea, yeah, I might as well get me um, mod mot out and uh, have some fun. It's an empty aerosol can. Safety first, depressurize. Now it's truly empty. All I gotta do now is uh, melt some metal, and this will be it. Now, as far as I know, contact cleaner is not flammable. Auto flammable gas has been released, although I had about that much left in the can. And a bloody um, uh, pellet with hydrocarbon ran out. Didn't get the finished sort of contents, so I pumped this back up with the air compressor and got the last bit of contents out. So it's a good top tip if your um, pellet runs out before your uh, product does. Let's uh, have some fun. I haven't played with this thing in a while anyway, so it's time to get it warmed up. It's pretty cold today. Come on. Hang on. Do one of the old camera out of the uh, subject out of the frame tricky. Some sort of bloody coating on the can I've got to scratch off. Hmm. Bloody coating. Gonna burn that coating off. Whoa, apparently this uh, residual contact cleaner, or um, actually the residual um, hydrocarbon is uh, still flammable. I put compressed air in this to flush it to get my contents out, my product, and yeah. Apparently it's uh, still got plenty of gas in there. Oh, burnt contact cleaner. So it's kind of like petrol fumes. Contact cleaner's giving off some um, nasty fumes. Shit, the fumes of contact cleaner are quite uh, more flammable than I thought. And it's still burning. I just learnt something today, there we go. Whew. Bit hot. Bladder residual uh, contact cleaner fumes out. Try again. Man, it burns a quite a while, contact cleaner. And there you go. It really is a good idea to shut off and isolate your equipment by using this stuff. It's a lot more flammable than I thought it was. I just learned something today. I stand that up. Bloody hell, it's burning for quite a while. Unbelievable contact cleaner. I just learned something. I might bring this microwave chance on my way outside here. I gotta get I haven't got another little table or tripod to set this chance for me on, so I'm gonna have to um uh, have a good little setup here. Oh, I got an idea. There we go. This might be a better idea. Out of, way out of, um, out in the open. It was like an alcohol burn, that. Yeah, it was burning. It was a low temperature flame. Oh, the fun of high current. Now the hose is on fire. 
little uh, take up hose there that actually sucks up the liquids on fire. Turn it off. The bottom's quite uh, tough. There we are. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Hmm, what else can we try? Put that sticks, get the air to there. Whew. Plastic. Um, bit of microwave. Let's cook that. The flux on this thing. We're getting hot. Whew, bit of galvanise it. Let that cool down. What else could we try? Let's finish this off. One of those are uh, curtain swings for a car from a caravan. Missing the uh, plastic uh, cover that goes over it. Hook it in somehow. Hang on, I might have to get me a get me a vice fix. This should help. Come on there. I'm gonna have to bat my hand now. Just use those. Yeah, the resistance. Yeah, burn the galvanise off. Spot loaded. Now on the bloody vice scripts I got now. They don't make any connection right up until uh, now. But, nah. ah, bloody vice scripts. Now we'll try it. This scar was a bugger anyway. Not even getting warm. And this bit here is. That's enough for now. Unplug safety first. Yeah, it's a bit warm. Here we are. That'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.